today on YTP Presents, I'm going to dance around naked and light myself on fire. But seriously, uh, today I have something uh, serious I want to discuss. I watched the movie Green Lantern lately, and uh, I wasn't. I wasn't too thrilled when I was in the theaters, you know, so I didn't want to go see it, you know, and Ryan Reynolds as the Green Lantern basically, in a lot of ways, it just, he almost overdid it, I think. He kind of played an actor's actor, um, in it, and he just seemed too overly about it, but all in all, it was a good movie. Uh, the thing I have a problem with, the one thing I have a problem with, and this is something I have a problem with a lot of movies, okay? Is why is it okay? We can be the boss, okay? Which is, you know, it's a great possession. You know, we can be leaders and stuff like that, which is fine. But why is it that our powers have to be um, telekinetic? You know, why is it that we can't just be super smart, you know, and that we can't just put things together, like, to, to give you, for instance, like, um, Xavier, okay, he was a guy in a wheelchair, obviously, and some would look at him as the leader of X-Men, though others would disagree and say no, Cyclops was the leader. Well, Cyclops was the acting leader. Um, if Cyclops were voted for, he would be the president. Whereas, Xavier would be the, um, Xavier would be the senate. Um, but I'm going off topic. Anyway, we can be leaders, which is good. Not really complaining there. But then, you know, all the other things is we can be psych- uh, sidekicks, we can be uh, the guy that helps the hero, um, we can be We can be villains, as Green Lantern showed us, but we cannot be superheroes. You know, there, there's just, there's like a remedy that says there can't be anything wrong, okay? And to be totally honest with you, I think a handicapped or physically disabled, you know, if you want to get nitpicky. Uh, a physically disabled uh, superhero would be a great idea, and here's why. Okay, let me pitch this to you. Uh, here you have a guy who not only has to overcome society's everyday views of him. Okay. You know, he's in a wheelchair, and you know, what can he do? But, then, he not only becomes the superhero, and not only proves himself in the light, but at the same time, doesn't prove it to himself. And I think that is one of 
the biggest misconceptions about uh, people and witches is we have nothing to prove to you. We have nothing to prove to society. Okay? We have something to prove to ourselves. Okay? We need to know that we are better. Not better than you, but that we are better than what is perceived of us. Um, and showing us images of us, you know, with some sort of elephant titus, uh, some, uh, in a wheelchair, and saying that we're evil, in a sense, and that we're villainous, in a sense, is really just, um, you're demeaning, you're demeaning the whole thing. To be completely honest, um, I wanted to start this video off as a review of the Green Lantern, but as great as the graphics were, the underlying story really just bothered me. Because here's one guy who has to overcome just a fear. Okay, whereas another guy who you make him handicapped and then you make him evil. And the two it, it, it's not like they like cosmically go together. Okay? It's not like oh you break someone's leg they're obviously going to become angry at the world. You know, it's just not that way. But, I digress, um, I do believe whoever it was that played the villain, he did an alright job, um, I think it was a bit mousy, you know, but not really of an out there character, but, um, the girl was rocking, uh, but, uh, she was rocking in, uh, the town, too. Aha, I didn't think I know that. Anyway, she was rocking in that, too. And, which I think is funny, because she actually played basically a garden variety addict in that one. And, uh... But in this one, she played a clean cut girl who was just, um, obviously she is from New England somewhere because she kept a really, uh, homegrown feel to her, like, uh, that, that, the, um, uh, ah, can't think of what it's called when, your voice is different, but anyway, uh, she kept that part of her, which I thought was excellent. Um, I, I I don't really like it when actors and actresses they uh you know they come from different parts of the world and they want to get rid of that part of them, you know, instead of showing that. You know, coming from that part of a com of the country, see what I can overcome. You know, but she did, and I find that wonderful. And I mean, I don't know the Green Lantern story, but if I understand it correctly, sorry, picking my nose. Um. If I know the Green story correctly, uh, the Green Lantern basically could take anything in his mind and make him real. But I always thought it was like, you know, maybe he could supercharge his arm or something and 
make it into a super fist or something like that. I didn't think that they were going as far as making machine guns and, you know, literally anything he could, he could think of. Um, the other thing is, uh, and I don't know if this is more of a problem that I had, but what's the, with the blue eyes? I just didn't get, get that, but anyway, that's my rant and review. Ah, good one, huh? Rant and review of the Green Lantern. Um, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you watch. Thank you, and goodbye, YouTube.